Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Packet Tracer series. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about topology. So in the previous videos, I have just talked about the uh, devices like hub, switch, router. Now let's make use of those devices in the topology. So what is topology? We all know guys, in the community networking terms, topology meaning is it's an arrangement of nodes that how to arrange, how you arrange different nodes together, right? To set up a network. So in this video, I'll be talking about bus topology, the very basic one, very common one, right? Uh, so I've written some points in the label. Let's go through the points first. So, so, so we know that bus topology, we uh, use it for local area network. Uh, in this topology, guys, all the nodes connected to a single cable, which we call it as backbone. If the backbone broken, the entire segment fails. So uh, advantages, like it's easy to install uh, and we don't require much of cables, much of cabling, right? So this is uh, like a little information about the uh, bus topology. Now let's quickly uh, simulate the same using packet tracer. Let's do it. For this guys, I'll be using uh, switches. So let me take the switches uh, on the workspace. All right, three, four. Okay, I'm just taking four switches and I'll be taking four PCs as well. Okay, so just to uh, simulate that it's my uh, bus topology I'm just taking it in this way all right so now we all know how to connect the similar devices and how to connect dissimilar devices for similar devices guys we are having the copper crossover cable let's use it I'm connecting this crossover cable to the second crossover cable to a second switch right similarly let's try to uh, complete the connections we all know that switches are similar devices so we are just connecting every switch together all right done so it's kind of a backbone for me and to which i'll be connecting my pcs so guys pc and switch are different devices so we need to use coaxial cable sorry the straight through we need to use straight through cable right ethernet port of PC with the Ethernet port of switch and let's repeat it for the other two switches as well. All right. So it's done guys. Okay, it's done. So guys, we all know that in the in the case of a switch, it may take some time to open up because uh, it's an intelligent device. It learns the network. So that's the reason uh, you can see some orange colors it will be turning into green very soon so let's now uh, populate uh, the uh, uh, PCs with the IP address we need, let me need to assign an IP address to a PC I'm opening up the first uh, PC as it is a local area network we need to give a, a IP address of same range I'm giving it as the common one which is 10 all right 10 1 to this PC 10 to to this PC so in this way we need to give the IP addresses to all the PCs right so 103 to this all right and last is 104 to this all right done so we have assigned uh, the PCs the IP addresses right so everything is ready now let's try to ping a uh, one PC to another PC in the same network as we all know it's a local area network let's see that whether one PC can able to communicate with other PC so I'll be I'll be trying uh, this PC this 10 1 to ping 10 4 okay extreme ends so I'm opening up the PC going to its command prompt and I'm typing ping space 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 so guys you can see now like I'm getting the by default four replies uh, using ping we all know that whenever we use ping by default we get four replies so we got four replies this is a clearly indication that the PCs within that network is able to communicate right so it means my topology my arrangement is perfectly fine there's no uh, issue with it because I got zero percent loss so guys uh, this marks the end of this video in the next video I'll be talking about the different uh, topology I hope uh, you must have understood the concept uh, 
for rest of the concepts guys i'll be coming up in a in the other videos thanks for watching guys see you next video